Hello and welcome. Today I'm sharing with you butternut squash and chickpeas curry that is cooked in a crock pot. Butternut squash is not only delicious but it is rich in vitamins and fiber. The recipe that I'm sharing with you is extremely easy and simple. Let's go ahead and start. For this recipe you will need diced up butternut squash, a can of chickpeas. Now if you don't want to use canned chickpeas you can obviously cook your own chickpeas like soak it overnight and cook it. You will also need some spices such as cumin powder, turmeric, chili powder, coriander powder. You'll also need tomato sauce or tomato paste, black pepper and salt. I'm also using a clove of garlic that I have finely diced. I'm also adding one small onion that I have finely diced. You will also need water. You can add water according to your desired consistency. I will be adding one teaspoon of olive oil but it is completely optional. To make this curry, all you have to do is rinse out the canned chickpeas and dump, literally dump, all the ingredients into the slow cooker. Mix it well and turn the slow cooker on high and let it cook for at least four to five hours. Here's a tip, uh, I was out of ginger, but um, feel free to add half or quarter teaspoon of grated ginger. It will really enhance the flavor. Here I am adding three tablespoons of tomato sauce. Now, instead of tomato sauce, you can also add tomato paste. And also, um, it depends on your taste. If you want more tomatoes in your curry, add more or decrease it. The same goes for water too. You can increase or decrease the amount of water you want to add in your curry, depending on the consistency you are looking for. This recipe is very flexible. You can adjust water, tomato paste, and the spices as per your taste. Give it a nice mix, put the lid on, turn the slow cooker on high and let the slow cooker do the work. So that's it. As you saw, it is such a simple and easy recipe. I always make a big batch and store it in my fridge. It goes really well with plain rice, roti, paratha, flatbread, or even crackers. It's been almost five hours and um, the curry looks good. The Butternut squash looks nice and tender and so are the chickpeas. It smells very good too. Please let me know if you have any questions. I hope you like this recipe and I hope you give it a try. Um, as always, please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you again next time in another video. Till then, take care. Bye bye.